Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Minecraft. So, I have a plan for this episode. Um, it's going to be a little bit grindy. It's going to be uh, something that's necessary for us to do. Let's see. It is going to require a bunch of iron. It is going to require... Um, yeah. Lots of hoppers and things like that, so... I am going to have to smelt up a bunch of this stuff. Um, I'm going to try to build a sort of an auto smelting system for the mine down there, uh, the strip mine that I was trying to make. Try this out and see how it goes. Um, so that way I can just keep digging. We'll have um, smooth stone available. It's going to kind of be just a um, resource grab, pretty much. Because I have a couple of building projects in mind that I want to get done uh, in future episodes. And so right now, I think that um, getting an auto smelter system going is probably going to be... Uh, best choice. Here we go. Uh, I'll probably have to come back for that coal to um, power the furnaces and all that kind of stuff. But I think one of the first things that I need to do is make sure that I have a decent iron pick. And so I'm going to have to go down into the cavern here. Oops. And uh, mine out an area. Get it ready to uh, build this thing. I'm not really familiar with this sort of project. Um, I'm not the best at redstone. I don't fully understand it, to be totally honest. And so, this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me. Not something that I'm used to doing. That baby zombie's still over here somewhere? Uh... He is! Oh man! I really need to give him a name tag. Of some kind. If y'all have any ideas for names, let me know in the comments. Got the safety glass here so that we don't just fall and die. Which is really nice, I'd say. Oh. Okay, so here we are. Uh, down in the bottom of the mine shaft. It's going to have to be a pretty sizable uh, area that I clear out because I'm going to want at least like 32 furnaces. I'm pretty sure. And so I'll be using this cobblestone that I'm mining right now um, to make most of those furnaces. But I think a half stack furnaces is going to burn pretty fast, pretty efficiently. And uh, we'll be able to, yeah, smelt down all of the iron, um, get smooth stone and all that kind of stuff. I may, in the future, work out a way to um, get a mass storage thing going. Possibly even send the finished uh, smelted product up to the surface so that we could just harvest it. Um, yeah, just pick it up and take it home. I'm also hoping that I get most of the resources that I need, like the cobblestone for the ovens and all that kind of stuff. Ovens? Furnaces? Uh, mostly out of the wall here. I don't mind going one more over, or two now, in this direction as well.
Well, I'm already back to the base. Uh, had to get some more supplies. I had to cut down some wood so that I could get uh, some chests going. So I've only got ten right now, but uh, I'm going to need a whole lot more than that before this is all said and done. Uh, I decided I want an enchantment table uh, down in the mine so that I can enchant some of my uh, pickaxes and stuff with really basic enchants like like this iron pickaxe has unbreaking and efficiency 3 both uh, that just makes it that much more valuable for digging out areas like that pretty good for a work pick um, I don't know if I'll just trade with villagers to get bookshelves or how I'm gonna do that um, but I definitely want bookshelves whoo down there with the enchanting table uh, just the table by itself and level 1 enchants is worth it to me so uh, yeah, just having it there in the first place um, is going to help out immensely. You can see this um, this pick is almost busted. I'll probably end up building an anvil while I'm down there too um, to keep with all the stuff. I've smelted down a little bit of iron already, um, enough to make a couple of picks. So I will be able to keep going for a while. And I brought some glass with me because I almost fell. Um, it doesn't hurt that much anymore because of feather falling. I need to get mending on these boots too, though. There's so much to do. Man, I've uh, yeah, not really neglected my Minecraft playing, but I could most assuredly benefit from uh, not going so long between uh, sessions here. There we go. I've brought enough for four layers. I think just above this cave is probably good. And then just about here somewhere. Should be okay. That's pretty close to that upper one, but it's fine. There. The final one right there. Perfect. So this is what I have. Oh wow. Um cut out so far. Try to get the experience on my pick where I can. Um, but yeah, here's diamonds, here's emeralds. Uh, there's another emerald up there, some gold, um, coal, and all that good kind of stuff. So um, I have some iron in here, so I will Keep on, keep it on, and see how we go. Well, I thought to myself before I even got started on the episode, and I said to myself, if I build out this um, auto smelting place, I want it to be on the west side, so that it will be closer to the tower. If I decide to pipe up the items, um, it will pop out over by the pow uh, tower, but instead I have built it over on the east side. So, that is a bit of a shame. It's not, not anything wrong with it. I could probably still figure out a way to get the items around over to the west side and then shoot them up to the top. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep digging. I think this is a pretty good spot, all things considered. Um, yeah.
Well, here's something you definitely don't see every day. Four emeralds really close proximity to each other. Oh, and no inventory space. That's probably something you do see every day. If you play Minecraft or any other survival style game. Oh man. That was a big chunk of uh, gravel that came down. I'm going to try to grab up some of this coal as I can. And it's led to iron, which is very good. I gathered up all of the iron that I smelted up at the top, and I gathered up all of the iron uh, that was available from the iron farm. Lo and behold, it was not enough. Not even close. So we are... Oh, not at all what I wanted to do. We are actually going to have to... Uh, Go looking for iron. I'm not sure if I left a bunch in the caves up here. I probably did though. Um, so that's going to be one of the first places that I look for sure. And that one. Perfect. Uh, I haven't dug that up yet just because. But yeah, we've got a pretty good area dug out now. I used the blocks. It only ended up being 16 blocks that I was able to get from all of those sources. Uh, so I went ahead and put them around the uh, beacon here. You might have noticed in the last couple of clips that I haven't been running haste until just now. And so, uh, yeah. That was kind of a dumb move on my part. Um, Let's see. I brought down some stuff to try to get started on the actual uh, rail system and all that kind of stuff. Um, think about how that goes. But I haven't gotten to a point where I feel comfortable putting things on here just yet. I'm going to have to go back and watch a tutorial. Um, whichever one I end up watching or using, I will post a link in the video description if y'all want to check out uh, the actual... Uh, video that I'm cheating off of. I might uh, even raise up these furnaces one block uh, depending on the design that I go with so we'll just have to see what happens. Um, but yeah, I think this is a decent start. This will be a good little nexus uh, for the mine for sure. Hilariously, though, just clearing out this area, 36 diamonds, 9 emeralds, um, and other things. I'll probably take these diamonds back to the tower and use my full-fledged uh, enchanting table over there to get a work pick, um, a diamond work pick, so that I can make this a little bit quicker. But right now, I think it's getting ready for the redstone and so forth. So I'm going to go check out a couple tutorials. Uh, see what I can find out about a decent auto smelter system and get that going uh, for in here. I'll bring y'all back shortly. Well, I wasn't coming down in here for treasure, um, but here is some. Whole bunch of torches, that's good. Feed seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, lapis is always nice, a few extra rails and a golden apple. Um, this is really good loot. I wish now that a bunch of this stuff was left downstairs. Uh, I wasn't able to pick up the lapis, so I'll have to come back for that. Yeah, I was just looking around for a little bit of iron, and it turns out there is a huge area of this um, mine shaft that I never did explore. Here's a second chest that I know I didn't get before. Which is madness, because I was thinking that the exploration we did was pretty extensive. But it's like... It's like I didn't even walk down this one tunnel, and that opened up into an entirely different um, area. You can see that I'm using the uh, Totem of Undying in my offhand. That's just because I needed some inventory space, and uh... Yeah, that's all. I needed some inventory space, and I didn't have a shield in my offhand. And so I just said to myself, hey, 
Let's use a totem of undying. Um, I found out, I looked it up after last episode, and you... If you have the totem of undying in your hand, when you die, um, you won't be dead. You will come back, uh, with a little bit of health, I'm pretty sure. I think it's something like two hearts, uh, two minute, or er, a few seconds of regeneration two, and, uh, absorption, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like, um, eating a golden apple right before you die, basically. From what I understood. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. I'm not interested in testing it. I would rather just, uh, see what happens. So, yeah, I guess instead of a shield for right now, I have a totem of undying. Which works just fine for me. I don't mind that at all. There's a lot of, uh, rails up here, too, which is pretty beneficial uh, for what I'm trying to do. The only problem with this totem is it doesn't block arrows. Whoa. Or explosions. Well, that's pretty close. Uh, about halfway to dying. I ran around a corner and there was two skeletons over here, so I decided to jump over this gravel mound. There was two skeletons right there. Cool. It's a good thing that I have this uh, totem of undying on me. Otherwise, I might be a little more nervous than I am right now. But, so far, so good. Oh. There he is. Oh. Looks like we have a spawner here of some kind. Oh, skeletons! Perfect. Perfect. I love skeleton spawners. Projectile protection. We got some wheat, some gold, a good amount of gunpowder, uh, another golden apple, some beetroot seeds, and iron horse armor. I think I might take the gold with me. Maybe the golden apple too, in place of the bones and the gunpowder, and come back for those. Projectile protection too isn't uh, crazy great. So I may just leave that there. Yeah. Only one chest? Oh, what a ripoff. That is cool that it's a uh, skeleton spawner, though. I probably should take note of the coordinates. Okay, I've got the first uh, most basic part of this done. Uh, this sort of a mechanism uh, looks inside this chest with this comparator. There's one item inside the chest, and so, uh, yeah, somehow that's able to tell it, um, let's see, the comparator unlocks this hopper down here so that it can feed through, right, when it has one item in there, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, and then somehow, um, once this has stopped emptying items, um, a redstone pulse goes around here and um, turns this off, turns this piston that I'm standing on off, and then uh, that puts a tiny bit of power into this um, powered rail underneath there, which sends the minecart on its way. I'm terrible at explaining this because I still don't totally understand it myself. Um, like, I have, 
I have the basic principle in my mind, but overall, I just really don't know what's going on here. Uh, this is the design that Rindog was using in his uh, Mega Smelter thing, so I decided to go along with that. Um, I've been digging up a bunch of iron all through the abandoned mine shaft so that I could cook it up. There's a half stack in all of these furnaces. So that was quite a lot of iron, but I need it because I need the hoppers uh, to go all the way around the back of these. And then additionally, I need hoppers all along the tops of them. And there's 31 uh, furnaces here. I tried to do 32, but it's, uh, it's just not the right shape. So there's 11 here, 11 here, and 9 here. Uh, yeah. For a total of 31. I put the book or the enchantment table right here. I'm going to put the bookshelves around it and then you can see we still have room. Um, there probably won't be chests here. I'll probably run it through a hopper chain along the bottom. So if you don't know, um, when you're trying to automate smelters, um, whatever is fed into the back of them is the fuel that they use down here. The whether it's coal or wood or charcoal or whatever. Um, and then whatever's fed into the top of it is what you want cooked, smelted or whatever. So um, I'm going to have hoppers facing down into these and another rail system uh, running along the top all the way around. And it will be loaded up over on this side with the same sort of mechanism. Um, I'm going to have to dig around probably for a service entry or... Um, when I go up to the second level of mining, I'll just have some kind of a walkway there. I'm telling you guys uh, the general plan right now because I'm not going to be able to do it this episode, but I am going to be trying to do this all through the week so that it's finished um, by the time I start the next episode, or at least we can put on the finishing touches at that time. But this is the basic plan, the basic idea, and the layout. I'll run a hopper chain along the bottom underneath to uh, collect all the items and probably send them over, like I said, to the west side so that we can pipe them up to the top, up to the surface after they're smelted, and uh, collect the resources up there. Um, hmm. I'll probably also have an input chest um, where I can just dump resources. I find, like, redstone and lapis blocks and stuff like that. Um that don't need to be smelted. I'll just put on the side here and they can get buried over. I think that'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep on working on this, but that's going to be it for this episode. If you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.